Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial by Tendon119. It's been a long time, sorry guys, but this time in this tutorial I'm gonna show and talk about how to make a simple gameplay motif that's been made in grid uh, with no visuals at all, just totally in grid, cubes, all made in cardboard as you see in the background. How to make something that works as a grid gameplay into something that doesn't look like it's in grid. May make it look nice but still works as gameplay. This is quite a hard thing and I got a request for this um, on Twitter. And it's also gonna talk about a little bit corner editing. So I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. So as usual I made a little set for this tutorial. It's all made in cardboard. Uh, there are, it's a two-player co-op gameplay, very simple. One player goes on this switch, the other player goes on the bounce pad. The bounce pad gets activated by the switch, and then the other player can go on the switch and it opens the door. Ta-da! Very simple. Um, so, how, we're, how are we gonna make this into something that looks visually nice? We're gonna go with the same theme as last time, the cave with the same materials. I'm not gonna do the decorating, just the basic material and corner editing okay here I'm just gonna change the cardboard into this rock material um, as you see this uses modular level design come for MC did a great tutorial on this I'm gonna put a description a link in the description for the video okay so check it out so here I'm just gonna um, make these materials the same one piece because it kinda looks ugly when it's two pieces so I'm gonna take off these anti-grav uh, tweakers we only need one per material otherwise it takes too much on thermo it's a waste so let's take them away okay now let's start with the corner editing corner editing does take some time most of this tutorial is gonna be showing corner editing now we're gonna, not gonna do the cardboard yet we're gonna leave it for now I don't know why I left it for now, but I say so, okay? <laughs> I don't know why. Well, let's... The thing with corner editing, it's hard to give any tips because it isn't something that by giving a certain tip you suddenly get better at it. It's really out of experience. If you want to make rocky shapes like this, the thing is, try not making it too pointy because rocks in real life really aren't that pointy. Most of them are quite roundish. Once you make the round shape, you can put little curves and all that. Uh, some pointy points. Pointy points, I know. And that, that will make it look nicer. The, and also, yeah, all these points that you can corner edit, all these corners, try to space them close to each other. Don't make huge distanced uh, corners. If you know what I mean, I don't know if I'm explaining this right. It's hard. I don't find the word, but yeah, it already looks quite better like this. I'm gonna corner edit the next wall. Same thing over here. Just make things balance too. Um, obviously, I could have done a tutorial on a different visual style, but since it's the same visual tutorials, I thought I'd use the same theme as last time. Um, I could have tried something else if if you're doing a there's lots of according to your style the corner edi editing will change you really have to find your own comfort zone in the corner editing what go matches with your style it really changes everything you just can't say oh corner editing you're gonna do like this it's gonna get better it depends on your style overall style and this is true I'm it's not that I'm just lazy and I don't want to explain this is true all depends on your style. Here it's a more realistic cave-ish style so we want to make shapes rocky, right? Um, but the point of this tutorial is to keep the gameplay gameplay-ish. The thing is when you make a visual room you don't really need to care about gameplay because it's just visuals. Now when you make gameplay it's always good to first make a motif in something like in cardboard, white matter, all in grid and then slowly modify that out of grid and make it as you want look nice and all that that's exactly what I'm doing here and it helps a lot 
you can make you can make your visuals look very nice even with good gameplay that's the thing I want to show a lot of people don't seem to yeah seem to have trouble with that. I still do have trouble with that too actually and as you see I'll, I'll in this shape I will have trouble with it too because the point of this shape is you kinda have to keep it in grid and I kinda had a problem here uh, so I'm just gonna cut this part so as you see here I've done my corner editing on this rock um, I haven't changed the material yet what I'm just showing you here take a piece of sticker panel or whatever make it transparent um, any color just transparent don't see in play mode and put it in the grid and then glue it to the object that that has a shape out of grid here I did a mistake forget it um, as you see a stupid mistake so forget that basically um, come for MC show this in his tutorial too by putting a piece of sticker panel or hologram on a non-grid object with the sticker panel on grid you can keep that non-grid object in grid which is very useful when moving objects if the shape is slightly different it goes out of grid and this is really annoying so really this is an awesome tip that I can give to anyone awesome really awesome well as you see now it's starting to look nice um, the shapes at least thing with thing is it's not only about the decoration and all that it's also about the geometry and how how balanced things are and honestly even if I'm making cavish uh, level I or any kind of level I try not to put too many ceilings because in my opinion ceilings a little ceiling you know for a corridor or something is nice but if the whole level is inside and it always has a low ceiling it kinda restricts the player in my opinion and this is actually quite true in, in my opinion it's a weird thing to say it's quite true in my opinion but it's, it's, it's not just my opinion if a lot of people agree with this it's not good to make the player feel restricted he should always feel free and relaxed you know have the space to do whatever he wants that's why I don't like low ceilings I try not to put too many ceilings that's the whole point of this thing anyway here you see we finished our shapes and pretty much um, everything's looking nice I hope this works you know I'm a I kinda needed to edit that bit I didn't like it uh, so press the button oh and it got stuck so here a uh, problem with gameplay and visuals we made things too out of grid and the grid object couldn't slide in anymore it should work now hopefully let's see yes awesome uh, the sound may sound quite dramatic I should have used something else for a cave but whatever it, it looks nice and it works nice honestly so I'm happy with it anyway it's just for a tutorial well here I added some uh, not pillars but planks you can use the UV tool. Don't forget for visuals when using materials, there's this tool called the UV tool. You can spin the material textures, which is really useful. You can make some effects that don't work, that don't usually, you know, it's not in the default. Like these planks, I turned them with the UV tool so they'd look like planks. They wouldn't be looking, you know, sideways when the plank's going upward. Just a simple thing. Now today I'm not gonna do the um, the decorating and all that. I mean I already done a tutorial on all that, so um, I'm gonna leave you guys here. Thanks for wat watching. Uh, you can add your own decorations as you want. Uh, like this video, share it with friends if you liked it. I I'd like to make more of these sort of shorter tips kind of videos because they're easy for me to produce honestly. So yeah. 
thanks for watching guys once again and I'm Tendon and don't forget there's a creating marathon on the 14th of July which is next Saturday and I'm really excited for it unfortunately uh, we the teams are already full now no one can join but you know keep I'll put a link of the thread of the planetarium in the description if you want to check it so feel free to you know ask questions and all that well I'll see you guys later bye